My name is Pella Soto. I'm a pharmacist at the National Capital Poison Center, I'm one of the people who answers the phones. Today I'm going to show you some of the common products around the house that contain button batteries. Any remote control that is smaller um, or flat, you can suspect that it probably has a button battery in it. Key fobs for cars contain them, and even things like singing cards and most children's toys that are automated do contain button batteries. Although some of these products containing button batteries can be sealed, they're relatively easy to open and children can access them and get to the button battery. So these are three commonly found sizes of button batteries. The first one here is the um, LR44 type. This one is 11.6 millimeters. It's our most commonly swallowed battery. Um, typically this one goes right into the stomach, which is what we want, but there are a few cases in the literature where kids have had um, serious injuries from them. So for that reason, every time a button battery is swallowed, we still recommend that kids go into the hospital for an x-ray to make sure that it made it into the stomach. This next one here is a 16 millimeter battery. And then the next one here is a 20 millimeter battery. These larger sized batteries contain a higher voltage and therefore can cause more injury to the tissue. So these are the ones that we get um, very concerned about when we hear a child has swallowed one. If a child swallows a battery, Sometimes you could notice that there may be signs of choking and sometimes there can be no symptoms at all. But inside the tissue where we can't see, there could be injury happening in as little as two hours. At that time when the battery is pressing up against the tissue, it's conducting a current and it causes a burn. It's also generating a hydroxide ion which causes a chemical burn. So you have two mechanisms of injury and the tissue is um, going to become damaged. Not only do kids swallow button batteries, kids can also put button batteries in the nose and in the ears, and that can also cause serious injury. Even though a battery might not have enough energy to power a product, it still is going to have enough energy to cause injury to the tissue. So even dead batteries can be a problem. A lot of parents give their children car keys to play with. They may not realize that inside the key fob there could be a button battery. All it takes is for this to be dropped and a button battery could come out.